Today, I'm going to be talking about three locations in Washington State, north of Seattle, to do some easy flat water paddling. Grandy Lake, Baker Lake, and Silver Lake. Twenty-seven miles east of Burlington, Washington, sits a little mountain lake called Grandy Lake. The town of Concrete is just six miles away if you need gas or groceries. Grandy Lake is pretty small, less than a mile long, and narrow enough to swim across if you felt compelled to do that. I thought it was the perfect place to take my new canoe and see what I could do. Despite being protected by both trees and mountains, the winds that follow the Skagit River Valley made a little side trip to my lake on the afternoon of my visit. To escape the winds, I eventually was able to paddle upwind to the relatively protected west end of the lake in order to practice my J stroke and terrorize the local lily pads. Although an experienced paddler would probably find the little lake uninteresting, a rookie paddler like me would find the lake very beginner friendly. The lake appears to be natural. I saw no indication of a dam other than the one constructed by the beavers. The shoreline is natural all around the lake except for the county park campground. There are two areas that make up the campground. The main area has a boat ramp and several primitive waterfront campsites. About a tenth of a mile west on the highway, you will find the other part of the campground. There was no lake access here that I could see, and there was no campsite reservation system that I could see. It all appeared to be first come, first serve. When I visited in May of 2021, you could use the lake for free during the day, but parking is scarce, and if you park in front of a campsite, you have to pay the overnight fee. On one visit, I avoided the fee by parking next to the portable toilets. On another visit, on a crowded Sunday afternoon, I went ahead and paid the overnight fee in order to use a primo waterfront campsite. The parking at the boat ramp always seemed to be full. If you plan on being there a few days and you get tired of paddling around the little lake, there is a logging road across the highway that you can hike up. By the way, if the campground is full and you really want a place to camp, consider driving uh, another 14 miles to Baker Lake where there are several more campgrounds. I'll tell you about Baker Lake in just a minute. Baker Lake is another 14 miles up the road from Grandy Lake. Baker Lake is a much bigger lake surrounded by several campgrounds. I spent a misty Sunday evening at Panorama Point Campground on Baker Lake, and I managed to snag a pretty nice campsite with lake access, although most of the campsites did not appear to have lake access. However, there is a boat ramp at panorama point with lots of parking. The campground and the surrounding area are all on national forest land. I believe this lake is actually a reservoir with a dam at the south end. I saw no commercial development along the shoreline of Baker Lake. Actually, I didn't see a great deal of anything that evening since visibility was limited by low clouds. Pictures on the internet, however, seem to indicate that there is a much more scenic view on a clear day. In addition to paddling, there are hiking trails in the area. Silver Lake is another small mountain lake located just south of the international border with Canada, just a few miles off the road that goes to Mount Baker. Maple Falls is only eight miles down the road from the lake if you need to get gas or groceries. 
When you first see the lake from the boat ramp, it appears to be little more than a large pond, but the lake continues further around a point to the north. The southwest corner of the shoreline is a county park with both overnight campsites and a general use picnic day area that also has a boat ramp. It did not appear to me that there were any campsites along the lake shore. Outside of the campground, the lake shore appears to be privately owned, with some buildings visible across the lake. This would be a good lake for beginners to practice in. The North Fork Nooksack River is not far away for paddlers that might want more of a challenge. There are also hiking trails in the area. Artist Point near Mount Baker is about an hour's drive from Silver Lake. For more of these types of flat water paddle trips, check the video description below for a link to my webpage where I have all my paddle trips listed. Thanks for watching.